The Durham District School Board acknowledges that many indigenous nations have long-standing relationships, both historic and modern, with the territories upon which our school board and schools are located. Today, this is our home to many indigenous peoples across Turtle Island. We acknowledge that the Durham region forms a part of the traditional treaty territory of Mississaugas of Scugot Island First Nation. The Mississauga peoples and the treaty territory of the Chippewas of Georgina Island First Nation it is on these ancestral and treaty lands that we teach, learn, and live. Hello, recent graduates. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Durham District School Board, we are proud to congratulate you on this major accomplishment. While the school year did not end as we had hoped, and our routines are still changing, I know that it's taught us important lessons about community and maintaining connections with one another. Graduating in the middle of the pandemic is a noteworthy accomplishment, and you've done very well to meet this challenge. With this experience, you will certainly be well equipped for anything that comes your way in the future. As you begin the next chapter of your lives with further studies and training for those entering the workforce, I hope that you can take with your experience learned at school the memories you have made, and the fun you've had with your friends and school staff over the years. We wish you all the best in the future, and congratulations. Thank you to the staff for providing me with the opportunity to share in this special celebration. Often this ceremony signifies the conclusion of one chapter of our lives and the beginning of a new chapter that has yet to be written. We anticipate new experiences and embrace new adventures. This is a time for us to reflect and give thanks. We give thanks that we were able to complete our secondary school studies under very unusual circumstances. We give thanks for the many relationships and bonds that we have forged and nurtured with fellow students and teachers. We are grateful for the varied programs and the rich experiences which have been provided by our teachers, our coaches, our band and choir leaders. We're also blessed to have the support and the love of our families. Many opportunities and challenges have been presented to us, whether it is the opportunity of a post-secondary education at college or university, the challenge of remote learning, the opportunity to pursue a skilled trade through an apprenticeship program, or the chance to enter the world of work. We are thankful for our choices. Your secondary school diploma means the beginning of new challenges and the promise of success in the future. Remember that education is not limited to schools which you attend, but it is a lifelong process. Adopting the mindset of a lifelong learner will serve you well. Continually adding knowledge and skill sets to your arsenal will equip you to manage the many changes which you will encounter. Be proud of the person you have become. Take pride in your accomplishments. Contemplate your goals, then proceed with passion and confidence. A special note to parents, grandparents, and teachers. Thank you for being positive role models for our graduates. You've provided strong root systems which will anchor and guide, but you've also allowed our young people to grow and spread their wings. Franklin Delano Roosevelt once said, we cannot always build the future for our youth, but we can build our youth for the future. Hopefully we have done just that. You too, families and teachers, should celebrate the success of our children and our students. On a final note, graduates, on behalf of the Durham District School Board, I wish each of you good fortune and much success in future endeavors and happiness wherever life may lead you. It is now time to start planning and writing that next chapter. In other years, I would be shaking your hand and offering you my personal congratulations. Unfortunately, I'm unable to do that under COVID restrictions. Instead, I'm suggesting that we have a virtual group hug, which would include all as we celebrate this milestone. Well done. Congratulations. Stay strong, stay safe, and be well. Thank you.
Congratulations 2019-2020 Brock High School graduates. Each and every one of you should be proud of what you accomplished, especially in a year like this. I wish you all the best in whatever career you're pursuing. Hello, it is my genuine pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the senior team of the Durham District School Board. We are so happy to be marking your success as graduates, albeit not in the way we would normally. You should feel a great sense of pride in your accomplishments and recognize that as a graduating class, you will always carry with you the memory of how you managed in a worldwide pandemic. I know that your narrative will be in part what was not because of it. I encourage you, however, to consider the important and lifelong lessons this pandemic taught you in your final year of high school. Resiliency, sense of community, and global responsibility are all important attributes that you have deep knowledge of from a formative time in your life. As you move forward, you will carry valuable lessons with you that were learned from this firsthand experience. I am happy to welcome you back to your alma mater celebration of you as alumni. I know that there are many individuals who played a role in your successes to date. I'd like to sincerely thank your parents or guardians and family members for the effort they invested in partnership with the Durham District School Board to support your journey. I also want to acknowledge the Durham District School Board staff for their dedication. Every time you go above and beyond, a student's life is positively impacted and today's celebration is evidence of that. The role of public education cannot be taken for granted, especially at times such as these, when its importance is illuminated in creating an equitable and civil society. As public school graduates, I hope that you carry with you always the importance of striving to have a positive impact on others, and when you encounter an opportunity to make a difference, that you do so with consideration of how to support those who are most vulnerable amongst us. Once again, on behalf of the senior team of the DDSB, our sincere congratulations on your accomplishment and our very best wishes in your future endeavors. Good afternoon. As superintendent for the Brock, Uxbridge, and Scugog Family of Schools, I am honored to bring greetings to the graduates of 2020. Quite a year it has been. Many challenges, but also many opportunities. You truly are digital graduates. Though the final weeks of high school look different, and even this ceremony is different, you have accomplished so much. Your resilience, and strength will continue to be key as you move forward with your post-secondary goals. I want to finish by sharing a poem by an unknown author that I feel speaks to the next phase in your lives. Dream big. If there were ever a time to dare, to make a difference, to embark on something worth doing, it is now. Not for any grand cause necessarily, but for something that tugs at your heart something that is worth your aspiration, something that is your dream. You owe it to yourself to make your days count, have fun, dig deep, stretch, dream big. Know though that things worth doing seldom come easy. There will be times when you want to turn around, pack it up and call it quits. Those times tell you that you are pushing yourself and that you are not afraid to learn by trying persist. Because with an idea, determination, and the right tools, you can do great things. Let your instincts, your intellect, and let your heart guide you. Trust. Believe in the incredible power of the human mind, of doing something that makes a difference, of working hard, of laughing and hoping, of lasting friends, of all the things that will cross your path. The start of something new brings the hope of something great. Anything is possible. There is only one you, and you will pass this way but once. Remember, dream big, and work hard to achieve your goals. Good evening. 
graduates, families, parents, guardians, and honored guests. Welcome to our virtual commencement for our 2020 school year. Like my beard, this commencement is not quite what we expected, but also like my beard, we hope that this online ceremony brings you joy and ultimately a smile. It is my pleasure to be able to speak to you today as our graduates complete the final step of their high school academic career and as they are about to undertake their next step towards the incredible life experiences that await. To our graduates, when you arrived on Brock High School's doorstep in August, four short years ago, with your parents and guardians on that very first grade nine day introduction to arguably the best high school in all of Durham, you may not have been thinking about changes. In the four years since that day, many changes have happened to you. Think about those changes and ask yourself, what did you learn? Who were your friends? And did your friend group change over the course of your high school days? What challenges happened to you and what made you think? Did somebody change your mind? How did you get involved? What did you achieve? How will you continue to change as your future unfolds? And what could be improved upon tomorrow, next week, even next year, to make you a better you? As this year wound down and we dealt with the impacts of global pan uh, global pandemic, we have realized that there are final memories that you may have missed, like being able to walk through the halls of Brock for the last time, getting nostalgic and reminiscing about, wow, I'm in the library for the last time, or I'm eating in the cafeteria for the last time. You may have wished to be able to listen to the get to class tunes and morning announcements for the last time, or maybe watching that midday sun come in through the 300 classroom windows for the last time, or simply finally making it to phys ed on time for the last time. We've missed having those final memories with you. In the end though, you have done it graduates. You have completed your graduation requirements and will have many memories to reflect on, which have been expertly captured in your many yearbooks by Ms. Brooks and our yearbook teams. Before I close, there are a few instances of recognition that must happen. Firstly, this commencement required hours of preparation involving the entire Brock High School staff. On behalf of all of us, I would like to thank the commencement team, specifically Judy Miller, Dana Joyce, Gwen Taylor, Kim Vanderlinde, Kelly Johnson, Julianne Byrne, Sarah Mappen, Kelly Brooks, and Jennifer Boudreaux for their efforts in coordinating and creating this fantastic celebration of student accomplishment. Secondly, thank you to Life Touch Photography for their photographic wizardry during the commencement ceremony. Thank you to Ms. Clark and her team of educators for the decorations at our commencement site. Thank you to Jack Anderson for reading the land acknowledgement. And thank you to our DDSB senior team members for sharing your greetings and good wishes with all of us. Thirdly, graduates, you do need to take some time and right now would be good to thank your parents, your guardians, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, and your cousins who have supported your efforts to get here. We as a staff have had the privilege of working with you for four short years, but family is forever. And you need to show your appreciation to them for their enduring support. Finally, to all of our graduates, as you leave us, please remember that you will always remain Brock Bulldogs at heart. And we look forward to hearing about the bright futures you have created when you visit us in the future, once COVID has been conquered, of course. Congratulations to all, and thank you for virtually attending our Brock High School commencement of 2020. Four years ago, while teaching a grade 9 business course, I was introduced to many of the students in this year's graduating class. One particular student was so driven to succeed that he changed my approach to assessment.
For this individual, success was measured in terms of perfection. Anything less than a grade of 100% was a fault to be challenged and corrected. It did not matter how mundane or non-consequential the assigned task, the end game was always the same, a perfect score. My first impression of this individual came after the first grade 9 math test. He scored 100%. And in all the years I had been teaching, no one had ever obtained that score in the grade 9 math test. As well, the rest of the students in that cohort had a higher average than I had ever taught before. I was so amazed and was really excited to see what would happen. I recall suggesting to him on more than one occasion over the following three years that not everything was worthy of this degree of effort, stating things not worth doing were not worth doing well. This perhaps more an indictment of the quality of my assignments and not his determination. I believed at the time that for anyone this kind of sustained focus was unhealthy and that he required the ability to distinguish degree of importance in order to parcel his efforts appropriately. He proved me wrong. By the end of our fifth course together, it was me making adjustments. If I assigned a grade less than perfect, my own self-doubt crept in. Marking keys were double-checked and supporting justification prepared, knowing that I would be challenged in a most respectful way. I had the same experience. This individual helped me up my game in the classroom and was respectful every time this individual decided to have a discussion with me about anything, whether it was specifically about assessments or anything else that was going on in the building or elsewhere. This student also within the community was very encouraging and motivating of others. I would probably call this student a change maker. This individual also is one who is very trustworthy. Many students really look up to this student and would go to him if they have any issues or if they need help with anything, they know the student would help him, help them. Also, his ethical degree is higher than no one else that I know. He applied this same level of determination and drive to many other aspects of his time at Brock High School and continues to do so at university. We can't wait to see what he will accomplish next. No pressure. I was trying to figure out what that might look like and possibly a new element on the periodic table it might be called Westium or possibly something related to a new robot of any size, a small one, a large one for inside the body, for up in the space. I'm not sure. It's really hard for me to imagine because this individual, the sky for this individual is not the limit. Ladies and gentlemen, members, members of, of the graduating, graduating class of Brock High School, High School 2020 COVID-19 edition, edition, may we present to you your valedictorian, Tyler, Tyler West. West. Congratulations. We might be on YouTube or Zoom or whatever platform this ends up playing on, but we made it. This probably isn't the way we thought it would end, but it sure is interesting. Who knew? March 12, 2020, our last day of high school, the day before the world shut down. I can still remember it, sitting in Wells class, doing chemistry on the last day before March break. The NBA had shut down the night before, but no one could imagine that that day would be the last time that we, the class of 2020, would get to sit in that beautiful place we call Brock High School as students. Today, I deliver the speech from the University of Waterloo. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tyler West, and I am a proud Brock graduate. We are proud Brock graduates. 
And that's what I want to focus on today. Brock. The community, the connection, the people. Before I go any further, it is important to acknowledge those who have helped us on our way. To our parents, guardians, families, teachers, coaches, support staff, administration, community members, and anyone else who has helped us along the way, thank you. We would not be here without you. Now let's throw it back all the way to fall 2016. It's grade nine day. They've got us all squished into the cafeteria, a lot closer than six feet if anyone remembers what that's like. We all showed up scared of what's to come. Will I fit in? Will I make friends? How hard will my classes be? Oh, this is going to be so crazy. But then we put one foot in front of the other, day after day. And just like Miss Byrne always told us in that first geography class, next thing you know, it'll be Thanksgiving. And before you can blink, the term will be over. Man, wasn't that the case. Second semester rolls around and we're starting to get our feet underneath us. We've all met some people, made some new friends, and figured out that when you're in a class with David Mueller, it's always going to be an interesting time. <laughs> they didn't know what to expect, but this class of 2020 brought life to the school. We filled the sports teams, rejuvenated the clubs, raised thousands of items for food drives, and let the community know we were here. Grade 10 rolls around, and we're ready to attack the year, except for one issue. Our precious hats are gone. No hats inside the school? What a tragedy. What were we to do? I'll get back to that later. We fly through grade 10 even faster than grade nine. We start to find our friends. We start to discover who we are a bit more. Our sports teams kick it up a notch. We pack the gym for volleyball games, make Mr. Elliott want to rip out the little hair he has coaching basketball, and send massive numbers to our track meets, all while having a good time. As our time as Brock students matures, we begin to appreciate the little things. The Halloween spirit days, Terry Fox dodgeball tournaments, shout out to the Dream Team, and our most popular spirit day, Plaid Day. Just like every year before it, grade 11 comes flying in, but it's for real now. These marks count for college and university. We gotta kick it into high gear. Grade 11 also happens to be the year of the license. When you got that G2, you made sure to let everyone know. Rolling up after lunch with some McDonald's or flexing with the Tim's coffee in the morning, all while arguing with Miss St. Louis over and over again about how you should be able to drive to the basketball game, just to be quickly shut down every single time. After busting our butts through Wells evil chemistry hell, as he likes to call it, joking our way through Elliot's law, or having deep philosophical conversations in Mr. Schausenberg's business class, we make it to grade 12. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. After a little bit of discussion with Mr. Claude Nicky and the SEC, the hats, are back. What a year it was. In the first semester, everything went according to plan. Sakes are very high at this point, as every grade counts, but at the same time, we all start to find our way. While some people start to find their careers through co-op, others are crazy enough to take their sixth math. November rolls around, and so do college and university applications. It's really time to decide, where do I want to go? What am I going to do? What do I want to be? How scary it was, but we got through. And that takes us up to March 12th, 2020. We were riding along in second semester, starting to get our acceptances, and then everything shifted online. What was supposed to be an extra long March break went just a little bit too long. But it is what it is. We finished, and we made it. Even though our last class may have been on Zoom, and no one got to drive their tractor on the last day, we should all be extraordinarily proud of what we have done and where we have made it. We now look to the future. Although it may have been our primary focus while here, you may have noticed 
that I did not mention grades once in reflecting on our experience. Life is not about grades, metrics, or achievements. Life is about being who you are and being happy about it. Although we may call school education, it is not the be all and end all. No matter what path you take, whether it be an apprenticeship, university or college, a gap year, joining the workforce, or doing whatever it is that makes you happy, it is time for us to take charge. Going forward, I encourage you all to think for yourselves, question, and be who you want to be without the constraints of some system. We don't need the schools to tell us who to be. Now is our time to decide for ourselves and to learn and to make an impact on the world on our own terms. And overall, if there's only one thing that you take from my speech tonight, it's this. Brock High School may be a small school sandwiched between a horse farm and a cemetery, but that's our school. If I learned anything from Brock, it's that life is about people and community, and we have built that here. We've built lifelong friendships, and no matter how far all of us go, we can always rely on this community. Brock will always be our home. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Let's show the world what we're made of. Thank you.